everyone, welcome to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Danielle, and today we're talking with Mr. Jim Overschmidt about his Lustrin home right here in Milan, Indiana. Thanks so much for talking to us today, Jim. You're welcome. So tell us about this home. It's made of steel, right? Yes, yeah, steel. All right. It's got a enamel finished coating just like you'd find on your appliances. Uh-huh. And it's got an R-value insulation that's actually higher than wood, so it keeps you warm. So in this cold weather, <laughs> yes. it's warm and toasty on the inside, it right? Is. It is. All right. And you said that you and your family decided to move here because you like homes with character. That's correct. correct? Yes. So tell us a little bit about the character of this house. Well, the character is it's got it's a two bedroom. This is a Western, uh, a Westchester model, and it's got fits us both. My sons and I we all stay here, uh -huh. and it's got plenty of room. And it's very well organized, so you can move easily around the house. All right. And I understand that there's only about 150 of these types of homes in Indiana, correct? That's what I've been told, yeah. Wow. So do you know about how many are right here in Milan? Um, here in Milan, I only know of this one. A um, couple other communities, Rising Sun, have others locally here in Ripley County. All right. So you are definitely one of a kind. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Unique. Wow. And I understand that the actual creator or builder of the homes actually planned on building a lot more than what he actually built. Right. Correct? He, he had goals and dreams to build fifteen to 30,000 of these mm -hmm. and be in South America and on military bases because they went up very quickly. You could build them in about four days. Oh, they came wow. in on a truck. <laughs> okay. And you, you put them on a slab and they're still, if you look in Rickenbacker in Columbus, Ohio, at the Rick Barker Airport, you'll still find them, and on marine bases on the East Coast, you'll still find some of these homes still used. Wow. Well, is there anything else that you want us to know about this cool house? Well, this one here, uh, built about 1947, mm -hmm. is all original. That's the original metal roof. Wow. All original on the outside, and actually, you wash and wax this like you'd wash and wax your car. <laughs> That's how simple. You don't have to paint it. So you just bring out the fire hose and spray there it down, go. right? A little pressure Sounds washer. Sounds easy. <laughs> yeah. Fun. That sounds great. Now, had, do you know if the metal roof has had to be replaced at all? No, nope, this or? is the original metal uh -huh. roof. No the, parts have had to be replaced. No parts on the roof. Have, now, we do have some work to do with the gutters and stuff because of the age, but yeah. uh, we'll be taking care of that this spring when it warms up. <laughs> sounds like a plan. Yeah. Here are some facts about Lustrin homes. Only 2,498 of the prefab homes were built in a factory in Columbus, Ohio between 1947 and 1949 to make up for a housing shortage after World War II. Only four designs were available with prices ranging from $8,500 to $10,500. About 1,500 Lustrin homes still exist in the United States. They were originally built and advertised as fireproof and termite proof. The house is completely steel inside and out, including the roof. Thank you so much for sharing with us about your home. It is really cool. Thank I like you, it. Danielle. You're welcome. Well, thanks again for tuning in to History in Your Own Backyard. We spent time today talking with Mr. Jim Overschmidt about his one of a kind home right here in Milan, Indiana. Remember, travel slowly and stop often. We'll see you next time. <laughs>